Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Elijah. Welcome to 85 Studios. This is going to be a quick video here to make the SLS battery operated and mobile for the Xbox Kinect camera for ghost hunting. All we're going to do is we're going to put it in a backpack. Basically we're going to get a battery and we're going to hook it up to it and we're going to use a Kinect USB adapter and some various cables including a couple that I've made I will go ahead and make a parts list and put it in the description of this video with links to the devices that I found and accessories that I found on Amazon so that you all can find them and maybe you'll be able to do something like this for yourself this is a homemade battery adapter um, it's got for this specific battery it's got the out uh, outputs for or inputs for the lugs and this battery has blade connectors so that's not a big deal an old monitor that can do VGA or preferably HDMI if you want a better picture so that's VGA right there VGA is only capable of 1024 by 768 resolution remember that we'll just set that there for now And here is your monitor. I had to find a better place to set it because it was going to fall there. Let's just clear out our work area here and go ahead and start. I beg your pardon everybody. My air conditioner is on in the background. I'm doing ADR and it doesn't quite work like that. So we're going to wire it up. Um, I had to go ahead and add something else to this because with this setup I needed a spot so that I could put my um, mail, uh, my mail 5mm jack for power for my monitor. So bear with me just a moment here. I'm going to skip over this. That's just me hooking it up. The green light's on, that means we've got power to the connect, and that's a good thing. Yep. Also, pardon me again, this is, uh, it's raining. I don't know why. It always rains when I'm trying to record audio. It's beautiful. Uh, so that red wire there is the 5mm jack that I've added for the monitor. So let's go ahead and plug that in, plug the battery in, and wire that up. Plug our battery in here. Hot. Remember the polarity on these guys. If you reverse polarity the connect or the monitor they might not like it so much so we're gonna plug in the monitor here you might see some smoke you know guys electronics are always made of smoke you let the smoke out and then the magic doesn't work anymore there we go there's our nice little monitor it's a 7 inch TFT color monitor and if you, lead, if you read the caption there, if you read the caption there, you'll see what type of monitor this is, the model. So I'll see if I can find a link to one for you on Amazon and post it in the uh, info section down below.
All right, let's get it ready for testing. We're going to go ahead and get it all ready to go. Let's uh, turn on our computer, which should give our monitor a signal in just a moment. And it has to be a Windows 10 computer, by the way, in order for this to work. Yep. We'll go ahead and power it up and try setting everything up. Make sure that we've got it going. And yeah, we've got the uh, green light flashing on the Xbox Connect, Xbox 360 Connect. So that's good. That means it's got power, it's got USB, it's ready to go. Um, we're loading drivers, and we're good to go. System has found it. Now, we're uh, displaying the monitor. Um, we're basically uh, mirroring the monitor of the laptop, which means the laptop is going to have to uh, adapt to the size, the small size of the small monitor. So, if you don't want that to have to happen, get you a small HDMI monitor instead. That's at least 1024, uh, I'm sorry, 1080, 1080p. 1920 by 1080. Because you see how the small monitor is the right size, but the other one's not. So go ahead and open up the Connect software. That's going to be the Connect uh, Developer Toolkit and open up WPF Explorer. Connect WPF Explorer or Connect D2D Explorer. And I'm looking for that right now. Bear with me. And pardon my air conditioner, it's just moving some air and conditioning it, I guess. Now this is also a little bracket that's uh, purchased for the Xbox Connect 360, uh, 360 Connect. And what it does is it's going to give us uh, a surface that we can mount that monitor onto. And it's going to go between the monitor base and the screw that turns to adjust the monitor up and down. That way we can still adjust it, but they'll stay together. And then all we're going to do is, in the end, we're just going to take some double-sided tape and stick those two parts together, and we should have one solid piece we can just carry like a, basically like a camera, except you've got a big backpack, backpack with a laptop in it on your back. and uh, battery. Speaking of which, um, I know I mentioned this in the subtitles, with sealed lead acid batteries, be very very careful. Do not short circuit them. Do not turn them upside down. Do not uh, tip them around or bounce them around or drop them. They will break and they contain sulfuric acid. So uh, if you don't want to use this type of battery, make sure that you get one with uh, at least 7 milliamp hours and or 7 amp hours sorry and make sure that it is something that's not as dangerous if you're going to go with LIPO I would suggest going with sealed lead acid instead um, if you're yeah sealed lead acid and LIPO are probably the worst you need at least 12 volt and that's this warning here about the battery so everything's working we're going to go ahead and put it in the pack, get it ready to go, and we're going to test everything out inside the pack, make sure that it's all working, and we should be done here in just a moment. We're getting it all together, putting everything in. Just make sure that your connections for your uh, camera or for your video and for your USB are up and on the same side that your vent is and that your vent is also up. Do not seal this 
laptop in this backpack because the between OBS uh, open broadcast software and the Xbox Connect uh, 360 Connect Explorer it is going to draw some CPU power it is going to draw some battery your your laptop is on battery and if you I suggest you put it in high performance mode or else it's going to lag and it is going to get hot in high performance mode so make sure that that is good and pointed up and got good ventilation because otherwise you're going to burn up your laptop it may shut down but it may burn up you don't want that the xbox 360 connect is also 12 volt 1 amp in case anybody wondered so with 7 amp hours at 12 volt 1 amp that will power the connect for seven hours and that is with the uh, monitor on it see the setup there connect facing forward monitor facing you laptop is in the backpack that's a mirror of the monitor on the back on the uh, that's a mirror of the screen on the laptop even though it's closed also you're gonna have to go into power settings and make sure that when you close the lid it doesn't go to sleep or hibernate or shut off so with that said, I'm going to head out and go to the old abandoned trailer house and see if we can pick up on some ghosties. Thanks everybody for watching. Be Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And take care for now. Whoever you are, wherever you are, be true to yourselves. Like, comment, subscribe. This is an ingredients list. Not ingredients, um, required devices and pieces. And we are on real life Ghostbuster. Take care, everyone. Hit that middle button there, guys. And hit the bell for notifications. So you know when we go live. Take care.